Welcome back to Camping Adventures. I'm Jim Graham. This is my Poinsett Hammock Expedition. An overnighter. Come hang out with me. Well, this is my location for the evening. I just need to find a suitable set of trees, and it looks like I got quite a few to choose from. But I do have some uh, deadfalls. Uh, several big. There's at least four, if not five, monster trees. That one right there is dead all the way up. There's one right there, dead all the way up but they've got to lean that way. Now there's one way over there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got to lean kind of away from the campsite. But the one that really concerns me is this one right here. Yeah, it's right in the mouth of the campsite. And it's kind of hard to determine which way that sucker's actually leaning, so I'm Looking to get away from that one. So I'm probably going to be down in here somewhere. So I'm going to scout out, find some trees, and I'm going to commence that hammock hang. There's some good areas out here. And then of course there's some open areas. So finding the proper trees throughout We've got five campsites back here in the wilderness zone. Of the five, I think number five is probably the one I like the most. Kind of off the beaten path. I have camped over in there. Uh, campsite one and two numerous times with the Boy Scouts years and years ago. But as a hammocker, uh, I'm looking at it at, you know, with fresh eyes. Looking at it. This zone back in here, this is site four. Site four looks like it's pretty promising. Of course, the fire ring for site four is right there. But you got quite a bit of room to spread out through here. Of course, site five's back over here where I am. Well, the temperatures are definitely hot and muggy right now. There's a storm coming in from the uh, southwest, hoping we'll uh, bring in some rain, some breeze, and cooler temperatures. But let me give you an idea of what the uh, setup looks like so far. Uh, very simple, got my fire ring, got my dining fly, did slide the picnic table up underneath. And over here I have my, my hammock. Now I'm going to come on into the hammock. Because this is that suspension, homemade suspension that a buddy of mine and I came up with. A 15 feet of strap. Right now, from that tree to that tree is about 20 feet. And I still have quite a bit of strap left. So we can do a water spance if necessary. That was kind of the idea behind it. Now I've got flying lean to again. Love it. This is my DD hammock. They call it a four meter by four meter, roughly 14 feet by 14 feet. I've got ample coverage. I'm about two feet in from each end. Uh, so even in a blowing blowing rain, I should be fine 
Got it pitched to the low side. Downwind, upwind is going to be porch mode. Trying to grab a hold of any breeze at all possible this evening because it's uh, going to be warm. Now hopefully when I quit moving around, I'll cool off a little bit more. That'll be a, a big help. But the dining fly, right by the fireplace tonight, steak and taters, just a basic cook it on a grill and throw the potatoes in the coals, uh, wrapped in tin foil and butter, seasoned up. So that's the goal. So I'm here at Poinsett State Park. I'm in the wilderness camping zone. Uh, absolutely beautiful place. And I would love, you know, in the next week or so, two or three of my hammock hanging buddies that are close by, let's try this again. Uh, There's <laughs> some good spots out here. Great time to be had. Well, I'll check in with you.